Hello, Mickey here again with a short update. I was requested to show how I added the pressure gauge to the AeroPress. As you saw in my video, this is the plunger of the AeroPress where I inserted a pressure gauge, in this case up to 7 bar. I took off the cap from the original plunger, which looks like this. And what I added, let me show you. I have it loose now, so you can see what I did. So basically that is all that there is. It consists of the pressure gauge itself, a coupler. I'm using one eighth of an inch uh, threads, uh, but there's also one fourth of an inch thread size for these manometers and also for these pneumatic um, connectors. So I used one eighth of an inch. So I added the coupler on one side. On the other side this pneumatic fitting, it's a fast release system. It has a gasket here. So once you screw it in, it's uh, actually tight. And on this side I used a little bit of this uh, white Teflon tape put around the thread, tighten it and it's, it's, it's tight. And then I bought this 6mm pneumatic uh, hose or pipe. And as you see, you just hold it on, you click here and then you press it in and it's tight. And on the other side, I did the same, I added the same. So you cut it the right length that you need. You can have it like I did, so it's exactly flush or you can have it longer hanging out up to your needs. And on the other side I add another one of those and push it in and again it's locked. You need to drill a hole into your plunger. Originally it's closed so with my drill I made a hole in here. So for one eighth of an inch it is a 9 mm drill and an inch 0 0.36 inch right. So. I made the hole here. And then you need an Allen wrench because this they have an Allen wrench fitting on the other side. So very easily you can hold it here. And what I did, I used a washer and I cut my own thread inside. Otherwise you can you can buy a ready-made a nut that fits there, are very thin nuts that you can buy. Well in my case I use this. So and that's it. It's tight. In the rubber piece originally it has no hole. You need to make a hole as well. This is where the pressure comes in. Basically that's it you have a pressure gauge for your AeroPress. I hope this was useful and soon I will post another video showing another way how to add a professional espresso basket to your AeroPress. As always, please don't subscribe, do something good or kind instead.